I got Vamo. <laughs> so I'm reviewing this video on Angry Cop versus Drunk Judge because everybody told me that Donut did it and I would change my mind and suddenly I'm going to love this Angry Cop dude. Okay. I ain't changing my mind about the incident. However, I've only watched a couple of Donut's videos. And look, most cop guys aren't going to run around and watch other cops' videos. I don't like watching his videos, not because I don't like him, because I don't want to be swayed or have him say something and then me base my opinion on what he does. So I'm, I may watch his video now because everybody told me, look, he's got all the facts. You missed it. You got it wrong. So I'm like, okay, let me go see how I got it wrong. So I'm gonna, I went to came to watch this video. So I really don't know much about Donut other than some people like him, some people hate him, they think he's a, a cop kisser, other guys said he never goes against the cops, other guys are like he's got no experience. I mean, it, everybody wants to crack on a dude some way, and then I got the people that just think he's funny as shit, and they love him, does something about rug rug or rough rough or eating a dog, something mug bug, I don't know. I, I Somebody comments a lot, evidently, on one of his catchphrases. But I don't know the guy. So, this is one of the first videos that I fucking said, all right, let me go watch this drunk guy so I can tell everybody that's telling me I got to change my mind. And when it freaking opened up, he's got, well, first he does his little promo shit, which I don't really like. $300. Right, you only got a couple okay. days. Go sign up. Hi, right. everyone. And then it goes to this, and I fucking busted up laughing. Man, I like the guy already, because right now, anybody in this day and age that would, that would don't give a... And I've drank when I got guns to it, but the fact that he don't give a fuck about having liquor and a gun in the same fucking video, I like the guy, okay? I just want to tell you right now, he may be a badge polishing, badge kisser, uh, whatever, whatever you guys say he is, I don't know because I don't watch him enough. But the fact he's got a gun here and he's drinking, I'm freaking I was like, damn, dude. All the dudes that come here tell me all you do is kiss cops' ass and you're going to do this. I like his sense of humor already. Anyway, all right, let me watch this freaking video and then I'll get back to how I'm going to change my mind and say that the bald, angry cop was 100% right. And I had it all wrong because the woman deserved to be attacked in her own front yard. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I watched the whole video. Look, <laughs> I, 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 all these people that come here and go, Donut's got a funny sense of humor. His videos are hilarious. He is funny. I like him. Okay, I, I got no problem with his style, what he says, and what he believes. Now, I do see his bias to cops. <laughs> Which is okay. We all have our own biases. I, I'm I'm biased to the pesky citizen. I'm biased to the Constitution. I'm biased to gun rights. I know that. And he's biased to cops. From what everybody tells me and from this video, obviously, he's kind of like the bizarro world of CNN. CNN is just freaking all about lying to push their narrative. And he's the bizarro world to making the cops look good and the cops did nothing wrong. So I watched the whole video, and I know it's going to come as a shocker to all the people that told me if I watched this video, I would change my mind. Okay, raise your hand if you think I changed my mind. Ah, you're a fucking idiot if you got your hand up. I didn't change my damn mind. Ain't nothing here changed my mind. Now, there is some other facts that I didn't know, and let's go over them. Here we go. I got. Unfortunately, I got to go through his video because he jumps back and forth and he's showing clips and pieces so i'm going to be jumping around a little bit if you want to go watch donuts video donut officer angry cop versus drunk guy oh make sure and like i think i've already subscribed youtube has unsubscribed me to him i don't know why always do your like and subscribe to these guys hell i may even subscribe to angry cop guy but i don't know i i don't have time to go watch his video i'm too busy making these damn videos and too busy laughing at freaking donut <laughs> drinking whiskey with a gun i freaking love it <laughs> rick you're just biased because he's a cop and you just love cops shut up you freaking cry babies i call it like i see it very angry cops let me ask you a very serious question screaming her other than a gigantic Karen. Imagine a Karen. Okay, everybody keeps calling this woman Karen. Look, Karen is the new catchphrase to kind of like just assault any woman that kind of acts like a freaking idiot and screaming and yelling. And look, I'm, I'm okay with 
having names for things. I mean, I say doctor students a lot, and somebody's going to doctor school, and people kind of know what I mean. Uh, I don't use Karen a whole bunch because I, I think it's a little offensive to someone who may be in a right and defending her rights, and now she's just labeled with Karen. Kind of like if we called a black person just being a black person just because they were right and they were doing the right thing, but because we've seen so much BLM burning and looting, burn, loot, murder, BLM, if we see so much of that, that we now somehow think, you know, that everyone is that way. Look, there's nothing to where it's absolute and everyone is saying, not all cops, not all firemen, not all bald guys, not all black guys, not all white people, even though the left will tell you all white people are racist, and that's okay. But anyway, I digress. Let's get back to this. Who do you picture? Probably this woman. Okay, by slowing down a video and doing things like this, people think, I guess that's going to change my mind. And I'm going to be, somehow I missed all the facts and my beliefs are all wrong because I didn't watch the whole video. Okay, great. Look, I get that Donut's doing a parody here and he's trying to make an example of, and, and he's right. When you show up to scenes and everybody's screaming, it, it's a pain in the ass. It's typical chaos. Cops need to figure it out. But look, people, there's a difference between people who are homeowners and they're a little drunk and they're upset over parked cars. And there's a difference when you pull into a neighborhood and people are saying, fuck the police, BLM throwing shit at you and there was a gang shooting, and there's a body bleeding, there's a difference on how you handle those two. I know that some of you think government, and because somebody's a drill sergeant, that he should be able to handle all the things the same way. But in Realville, you handle them differently. None of these people are a threat. None of these people are going to pull out a gun and shoot anybody. No, Rick, you can't say that. You should never drop your guard. Look, people, you know when you pull into a scene, when you see decent cars and decent homes and decent neighborhoods, and you see that it's a neighborhood dispute, that you don't have to go into drill sergeant and treat everybody like assholes because you get your feelings hurt, because you have rice paper feelings, because your head gets cold because you don't have any hair on it to keep yourself warm. So now you're going to take out your coldness on everyone else. Okay, I just don't want, it just doesn't matter to me. This is not a scene for cops to be losing their control and so-called gaining control, so-called detaining. And, and officer safety, I must put you in cuffs so I can conduct my business. Those are all bullshit legal terms that you can use to sound like you're being justified, but you're really just being pussified. Here we go. Now imagine you're a police officer, you just got your discount Chick-fil-A, you're having a great day, and- <laughs> I like the way he got it. <laughs> He's got a crack in the cop, so this guy's got funny, I like him. <laughs> you get out of your car to this. I friggin' my friggin' chain off. Wait a minute. Now look, he's making it seem like these poor cops are eating their Chick-fil-A and donuts, and they have to go to this call and deal with these people. I mean, what do you expect when you get paid? When I get paid a good salary, when I get paid overtime, when I have great benefits, when I can't be laid off, when I'm given all this power and take home car and overtime, when I have such a great career that I get to pay my bills and pay my home payments and get my fancy cars, when I'm making all this good money, who would ever expect me to have to go to a call and actually have to deal with something bad? I should be able to just go to work and shoot people for no reason and be called justified. I mean, that's that's what I should have to do for a cop. Give me a freaking break. I know this guy. My wireless mic just died and I have no AA batteries, so the audio quality is going to be sort of different. <laughs> so he uses the wicker model for his... <laughs> With a gun. Rick, that's scary. And and look, I'm just telling you, this is for all those safety sallies out there who are crying in their pink panties. You should never have alcohol and guns together because it's dangerous. It's not freaking dangerous. The gun ain't going to do nothing. The alcohol ain't going to do nothing. Freaking people doing stupid shit are the ones that are dangerous. Like bald cops with guns and badges getting in people's faces because they still think they're on a base being a fucking drill sergeant. Oh, I'm sorry. I digress. I, I, I gotta remember to watch this video so I can change my mind. ...from this point on. Back to who that guy is. This guy right here is current judge and former state senator okay, manner to police. Okay. Yeah, you got it all, all right. Set. 
So I guess this is the point where I'm supposed to change my mind. Because an angry neighbor got upset and got in another neighbor's face and people are yelling and it appears like they've both been drinking and they're both upset. Now, look, call me fucking stupid because I have a little bit of hair. I don't have a whole lot of hair, but I got a little bit of hair. Call me stupid that I would be shocked that neighbors who are drinking and got in an argument would yell at each other. Damn. Who could have predicted that shit? Ray Charles could see that shit coming. Come on, people. Give me a fucking break. This is supposed to change my mind? Because she did this? This justifies a cop losing his temper, chasing her across the street, and tackling her in front of her husband, and saying, well, I'm just detaining her. I'm not arresting her. Let me use the proper lingo so I can sound like I'm complying with policy. I need to chase this woman who's a danger to my safety because she's got a big mouth. Gee. Who could ever predicted a woman with a big mouth? Shit, that never happens in real fucking life. Are you kidding me? Who cares? She's yelling. I expect that. I've been a cop for 30 freaking years. I expect people when they drink to be unreasonable. I expect them to be loud. I expect them to argue. I expect them not to listen. I expect them to name drop. I expect them sometimes to threaten. Big fucking deal. I want to deal with this bullshit case of people not hurting people because there's real criminals committing crimes of stabbing and shooting and selling large amounts of drugs to fucking kids and doing and abducting children. There's real crime out there that I would rather be dealing with than fucking putting my drill sergeant hat on here and showing a woman and a drunk judge who boss and how much of a man I am and how tough I am. So I can't believe that people thought I would change my mind if I watch this video. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you for sure? He's attacking women. He's attacking you. Oh, really? Right? Why is the wall there? Because you're hot? Why is the wall there? Okay, for all you people who are like shocked with your mouth open going, wow, I can't believe people are doing this. Well, then you're freaking living in la-la land. This is human behavior, people. You get people in close areas and close neighborhoods in close proximity and you get alcohol involved and you get property rights and you get cars parking and you get unreasonable neighbors who are freaking a pain in the ass and so you're a pain in the ass back and then the cops show up and we don't know how long this has been escalating and what the other party's done and so all neighborhood disputes to me are dealt with the same fucking way you both probably got some fault in it go to your fucking corners go to your houses and leave so you knew you ever commit a criminal offense and we have to rest because i got better things to do now please leave go to your corners and fucking try to deal with this without the government being involved i'm out of here so that's how neighborhood disputes should be handled because this is what's called a civil matter this is not a criminal matter unless cops come there and try to use their quick lingo and their fancy tongue to say, well, while detaining the unruly suspect who was disorderly in a public place and who raised her voice and offended my bald head, we had to detain her and arrest her. And then she resisted her detention. So therefore, I had to arrest her. So even though we came to this violent call where we needed to get government involved, and we came here just to, you know, find a crime that we can arrest you for. That's fucking bullshit. That's government tyranny, people. This is not what cops should be dealing with. But when we do deal with it, they ought to deal with it in the mindset of, I'm not going to be escalated by a bunch of drunks. I'm not going to get my feelings hurt. They're drunk. I'm not going to take their threats seriously. They're fucking drunk. I'm not going to get my panties in a knot and my bald head all polished up and glaring because they dropped a name and I'm offended. So I have to go into drill sergeant mode to show how tough I am. Are you... F I can't believe somebody thought I was going to change my fucking mind. Let's talk a little police stuff now. When you pull up to a scene and it's complete chaos and you got two Karens in each other's faces doing this little thing. That's normal. Big fucking deal. You know, you know what he should be saying next? is you need to realize it's routine.
and you need to realize they're going to do this. And you want to de-escalate. You don't want to escalate. You don't want to play macho cop and run out there and see how I can get a crime and I can arrest. Pussy cops do that. They always want the easy arrest where people can't fight back, where they got numbers, where they know they can beat up on people that aren't good. They don't do that to gang members who are fucking armed with bats, knives, and guns. They won't go in the middle of a crowd. If all these people were gang members, these cops wouldn't be doing this. You know what they would do? They would stage for officer safety. They would call in more units. Why? Because they're pussies. Okay? And it just fucking pisses me off, the pussification of cops out there using uh, officer safety for a reason to harass people for bullshit. And to me, this is a bullshit call. This is a bullshit arrest. This is a bullshit waste of fucking time. And you know what? Somehow, some cops and a lot of people are trying to tell me I got it wrong and these cops are really good. And they're doing what all cops should do to all pesky citizens. Perfect. I hope some good cops will do it to you who are defending this. Thing right here. You want to separate the two parties and figure out what's going on. He's correct. Normally when you got people arguing, you separate them. No problem. Go to your corners so we can talk. And inevitably, no matter what you do, someone's going to be yelling. Normally it's the women. Rick, you can't say that. You're a big sexist. Whatever. Normally it's the women who are yelling. The guys will usually just stand back and wait for the woman to escalate it, and then the men will jump in to save the honor of the woman, and then the men end up going to jail. That's normal, the routine. But in this case, the cops escalated this when they didn't need to. Why? Because their feelings got hurt. Because they were upset they couldn't be eating donuts. Because they were getting paid to do a job that they really don't want to do. They would just rather exert their power and authority on people that can't fight back. That's the fucking problem. Looking through the body camera, let's try and figure out what happened from the words of the people. Okay, hey, well, their stuff is over here. Well, is the over here. Okay. I think we can assume that everyone on scene is shit housed in the. I called. Fortunately, though, we do have an officer on scene who speaks their language. Back. Now, Donut is kind of making like this guy is good speaking their language, and he's kind of mocking her. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Get over here, get over here. He's not being, ma'am, come on, come here. I mean, you know how to handle this? Ma'am, I get it. I got shitty neighbors too. I've been in this situation. We got called here because we need to figure out what's going on. If there's not a crime, then you guys can go to court, but we just want to settle the neighborhood dispute right now. So work with me. Come over here, stand, give us a chance. That would have been a way to handle it. That's how I would have handled it. Not condescending ba 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 in your face. Get over here, pesky citizen. I got a badge and a gun. If you do anything that I don't like, I'm going to arrest you and get in your face. That's how tyrannical freaking bully ass punk cops deal with it. We've see, the, the, the ball had to, see, Donut likes the fact the way this guy did this. Fortunately, though, we do have an officer on scene who speaks their language. Back. So the ball headed cop who wants to be macho and cool because he's getting paid a good salary and benefits to be here and do a job, he thinks this is below him. And therefore, he can treat a drunk person who isn't thinking clearly like she's a fucking idiot and he can antagonize and escalate the situation. And then I'll have other idiots come here and tell me, I got it wrong. This cop is great because he's a drill sergeant. And if I watch this whole video, I will somehow like this guy and think he did a great job. Are you freaking kidding me? I call back. I call We've separated the parties. Now we can get to the root. All four cars. Right. City vehicle on their driveway, their driveway. Ah, all this over cars that were parked on the street. Now, see, cops tend to think that this isn't a big deal because they don't have a lot of life experience and they don't understand it. But most retired cops will fucking say having shitty neighbors sucks. And I've had shitty neighbors when I was walking. But as a cop, you can't really do anything because they can make a complaint on you. So you got to keep your mouth shut and you don't have free speech normally when you're a cop because you get screwed. So I get it. But look, that doesn't mean that I can go out there and use my power to treat people like shit because I can. See, when people use power just because they can, those are the people you don't want having power. The people you want in power are the ones that don't want to use it. The best bosses I've had that could have fired a lot of people and probably fired me never did because they didn't use that power. 
they understood that firing people was easy and that was working and understanding that people are humans, understanding that people have bills to pay and understanding that you can work through things. Those were the good bosses to have. The good cops were the ones that didn't go, I'll just go there and arrest fucking everybody because I can. Those aren't the good cops. The good cops go, I don't want to arrest. I don't want to use force. I don't want to escalate this. I know it's going to take more time. I know it's a pain in the ass. I know I'd rather be doing something else. But you know what? I'm being paid to do a job, and I should do it the best way I can, and I have a lot of power that I don't want to use and that I shouldn't use unless I have to use. Those are the best cops. And you can disagree with me and think this bald drill sergeant guy is the greatest cop in the world. I don't buy it. In the criminal justice, to who investigates... And everybody's all four cars. Right. City vehicle on their driveway, their driveway, my driveway. The city 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 city. So he's talking city vehicles, meaning these guys probably work for the city. So this is an ongoing thing. They all get take home cars. Now they're parking everywhere. Look, I get it. This seems small and bullshit to everyone else. But your home, when you go home to it every day and deal with loud music, broken bottles in your car, drunks, you need to realize that wears on a person and this is what happens so to me this isn't shocking this isn't like oh my god i can't believe i have to deal with this as a police officer i have so much more i should not have i don't want to deal with this i would rather not deal with this but that's part of my job and the way i deal with it is not to go and arrest somebody because they're upset or because they're drinking in their home okay call me fucking stupid freedom guy again but that's my point so they knew I called the cops. No they come out. You got a fucking problem? You got a fucking problem? Let's talk calmly over here. Okay. Again, these guys, people will say like, see, they're yelling and cussing the cops. No, they're emotional and they're explaining what the other people did and said, because you called the cops and they got in your face and now they pissed off and they escalated because the judge called the cops because sometimes when they're civil shit and you can't talk to your freaking unreasonable neighbors, and you're an unreasonable neighbor because you've been drinking, sometimes it takes a reasonable, non-drinking person to come and mediate. Not come and be a freaking drill sergeant and arrest everybody and put them in cuffs because they can. Because they're the police. Because they're heroes. Because they're all our friends. And we should trust them and give them more power. And we should give up our guns because if only they had guns, they would keep us safe. You freaking idiots. Or something. <laughs> huh? Oh, makes all the mayor of no, Ooh, name drop number two. Wait till my son here. Okay, cool. Name dropping, big deal. Every cop gets name dropped. It's a common thing. You know what? If you're getting offended over name dropping, you really gotta reprioritize what offends you. Cause fucking give me a break. Who gives a shit if somebody named? I know President Trump. I know President Clinton. I was friends with Obama's daughter. I I I used to play the uh, you know find a penis with Obama's wife. Whatever. I mean, what big fucking deal? I mean, I just don't care about that shit. If you're getting offended over that and you have to go in drill sergeant mode, you're a fucking pussy. Sorry. They get over here. Now, this is cop, Mr. Tough Guy, number one, on her property, yelling. Who could predict that? Who thinks this would never happen? Who thinks any reasonable drunk person who's upset and has to call the cops would never yell? That's just unacceptable. We can't have that, and by God, we're going to put you all in cuffs if you open your mouth to me, a police officer, with the power to arrest you and take you to jail. If you open your mouth, I'm not going to put up with that. How dare you think that you can open your mouth on your own property, you pesky citizens. Yeah, damn, I'm glad I watched this whole video because this is really changing my opinion on how good these cops handled this. They get over here. I sure am. She's good. So now, Donut is using the term detain like it's a calming, uh, rational decision to like, you know what, sir, for my, and I've done this a thousand times, a guy gets a little rowdy, I'm dealing with a gang member, I got two or three parolees, and, and they start freaking getting a little mouthy, and I'm like, dude, look, man, you're kind of getting emotional on me, uh, I don't want to deal with this, 
you're on parole, turn around, I'm going to detain you, I'm putting you in cuffs, and I'm going to sit you on a curb. And I would handcuff him. It wouldn't be, ah, you ain't going to yell at me, you better go, I'm going to chase you down. I'm gonna, yeah. you, you deal with that with a couple, three parolees in the middle of a gang, and you're going to get your ass whipped and lose your freaking gun and probably end up with a bullet in your head. But see, the cops who do this to these type of people would never deal with real criminals. They like to hide and deal with easy. They're sitting at a fucking school zone pulling over grandma, taking her grandkids to school because she's speeding two miles over the speed limit. And then they go back and brag about how they wrote 15 tickets. That's these type of cops. Looks like the officer went in to detain, not arrest the... Yeah, that... See, he... he and he's playing this down. I mean, I get it. He's being kind of sarcastic and just playing. I, I get it. I mean, it... I don't hate the guy because he's taking a cop's side. He's explaining, he's playing CNN. How CNN defends Black Lives Matter, he's defending the cops. Problem of the situation, which is the boss Karen there screaming her head off and riling everyone up. It seems that the <laughs> I still love his Karen has alcohol. calmed down and has stopped screaming. <laughs> and what me. happened to the officer it. who I'm went in to detain the, the problem? Now. He gets assaulted by Judge Rosanne. Then I'll have everybody here, you stole that from Donut. Donut, I'm stealing your shit about alcohol and gun because I freaking love it. I think it's funny as hell. <laughs> Grisanti. Who cares? We are not doing this right now. We are not doing Now, who out there with a set of fucking chickpeas balls would not defend their wife in this situation? Raise your hand. If you have your hand up, you got a vagina and not a penis. Because any male with any freaking nuts whatsoever, is not going to allow their wife to be beat like this. It's just not going to happen. And any cop with two fucking brain cells knows this. So if I want to escalate the situation and I want to take you to jail, I'll just detain, donuts words, I'll detain your wife. And then when you get involved, I'll arrest you for assaulting, for protecting your wife, for doing what any fucking man would do with two balls freaking ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I was supposed to come here so I would change my mind. Hang on. I'm still waiting for the part to where the cops are going to get me to change my mind. Wife, you're gonna be sorry. In all in one sentence, he says, My son and daughter are police officers, and if you arrest my wife, you're gonna be sorry. All right, heard this 10,000 times. How many of you people would be offended if somebody said that to you to try to get you not to do your job? How many people in your everyday job, no matter what your job is, if somebody came in and dropped a name and said, I know the mayor, and if you don't do X, Y, and Z, which is in your power to do as a job. If you don't do this, you're going to be sorry. How many of you people, raise your hand, that you would get so upset that you'd want to tackle them and get in their face and tell them they're no good and call them an old geezer and show them that you're a drill sergeant? Raise your hand. Well, then get your ass over to Angry Cop because evidently everybody thinks this guy is freaking super God because he did that for this fucking reason. My son and my daughter are both police officers. So big fucking deal. Run your mouth, dude. You're drunk. I don't care who they are. Call them. Get them here. I'd rather them deal with this. Hell, if they show up and they're cops, I'll let them deal with you. Please call them. If you're calling and talking to them, then you're not yelling at me. I mean, there's a thousand ways to handle this without getting your freaking pink panty feelings hurt and fucking wanting to arrest everybody. That's just pussy shit to me. And I'm not going to agree with it. I'm not going to like it. And nothing I've seen has changed my mind in the least little bit. Even more name dropping. I don't hey, care. Big oh kid. my God. Are you f***ing kidding me, dude? I'm so done listening to you scream. Wow. I just can't listen to you scream. I'm getting paid to be here. I am a cop with authority, a badge, and a gun. And I do not have to listen to you scream because I can lock you up and put you in a car. Why? Because I am the government. I'm here to help. I'm a hero. You need to support Blue Line Matter. Blue lives. Blue lives. Blue lives. Whatever. Why? Because it's the truth. It's f***ing No, because I want to hear everybody talk. 15 years of I want Rick, you just like her because she's wearing pink. Well, obviously, you've never been to my gun channel or my horse channel. Anyway, look, this woman is upset. She's been drinking. She's not acting reasonable. She's not acting rational. 
Yeah, she's being a pain in the ass, but big freaking deal. Do you have to put your hands on somebody and use physical force? If I put my hands on somebody, it has to be something serious. I'm using physical force to put them in a car, detain them. There needs to be a crime. There needs to be an investigation of another crime. What crime was he investigating? Well, Rick, she was disturbing. Let me give you some cop lingo. Let me give you some good cop explaining for the cops who will come here. Well, Rick, uh, at a scene, you have to be able to get the story. And if somebody's interrupting with that and you can't get the story, you have to do your job. Therefore, they're interfering. And if they're interfering, that's an arrestable offense. And you can detain them on that. And then if you detain them, then you can get the story. And then you can let them go. And then it, it, it's, it, cops just have to do it. Ah, well, you're a freaking idiot. If you can't contrain a, 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 or control a few freaking drunk neighbors... You're a freaking pussy if you have to resort to locking people up, tackling them, and putting them in handcuffs. Okay? Rick, why are you... Well, you just don't like him because a bald guy screwed your wife. Whatever. Freaking idiots. Everybody's story. You're tearing them first. You don't understand. Ask any neighbor. That doesn't mean I'm not going to listen to you. I'm Look, the cop is talking. He's kind of having a conversation with her now, but he's got her in cuffs in a car. He could have let her yell and scream over there and say, look, you know how many times I've had people yelling across the street? And I'm like, look, just ignore them. I would make the people turn their back so they don't have to see them. And I'm like, just ignore them. I'm listening to your story. Go ahead and give me your story. And then I'm going to go talk to her story. And when I do, I'd appreciate it if you don't yell and act like her. And then you walk across the street. She was on her fucking property yelling, big fucking deal. Does that mean she needs to be attacked by a cop? Tackled. Rick, she was only tackled because she resisted. Okay, great. So when you're on your property, any cop can come up and arrest you and you're not going to resist. You're not going to pull away. You're not going to ask questions. You're just going to be a little fucking sheep and go, well, I guess law enforcement, I should support them because you guys are all heroes and I just love cops. And you know what? I get it. You're a drill sergeant when you're off duty and therefore, you know, you, you can't control yourself and you got fucking peak panty feelings and you want to be a macho tough guy when somebody is drunk on their own property because you're a fucking pussy. Yeah, okay, I get it. You need to get the if you don't get the cops over right now, you're going to have a problem. We're not doing that. We're not threatening that. He needs to get the cops off her. She's going to send him back in the car right now. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do for he right now. He needs to get the cops off her. Okay, don't up. You give dramatic. Um, that by your about. demand. She's going to send him back in the car. She's going to be in cuffs. Okay. That's what Look, all the, all the dramatic funny shit, I get it. it. It was a fun video to watch. But it doesn't change the fact that government exerted physical force and power over a fucking argument about cars. I'm about holding government accountable and restricting their power. I'm anti-government. The founders were anti-government. Our constitution is anti-government. It's about controlling government because anybody with two brain cells knows that government over time will always seize more and more power. They will pass more and more laws to gain more and more control and justify more and more government to tax more and more pesky taxpayers in order to justify the more and more government all in the name of protecting you and keeping you safe. And we need government to protect you because you're too stupid. And we need to take away your ability to defend yourself so government can defend you. Who wants to depend on bald, angry guy coming to defend you when you need fucking defending and give up your guns? If you do, you're a fucking idiot. It's going to happen for right now. Let us, work, let, let us just work this through. The cop says, I'm done listening to you scream. I think scene for a couple minutes that's what like like nine or ten on the maybe he looks kind of angry we come back that's all it is mm. i'm talking like this looks kind of angry is this the guy the angry cop leaning here on a tree branch with his hand in his pocket freaking punch me in the face i'm getting a fat lip i think you're kind of talking like that because you're shit housed and you're not full that's true he probably is look the guy's drunk i get it how does that change anything i deal with drunk people all the time I, I, big fucking deal. What's the problem? I deal with drunk people if I go to the bar. There's drunk people around. Doesn't mean I can tackle them and run over and exert physical force because they name dropped. Ooh. They committed that felony name dropping and it offended me because I'm bald and I have power. Pulling any of us. I'm going to ask some of these people because I, I want oh, some trust. Because, you know, I mean, I'm sure you understand I'm fair. getting... Get around the car and I'll bring her inside. And I didn't mean to tackle you, but I mean, he kind of threw my wife down on the ground pretty hard. And I don't... This guy is actually trying to be pretty reasonable for his drunken state. 
and he's actually appearing like he's a pretty decent dude. He's apologizing. He doesn't have to. He's not in cuffs. They haven't arrested him. And he's doing something because he's just trying to talk to the guy man to man. But see, cops can't do that because we have power. We don't have to listen to your pesky citizens. And you're nothing. They didn't know he was a judge. And I don't really care if he is a judge. Although somebody made a comment that he voted against for the crime bill or, or to ban assault weapons. And that kind of changed my opinion that he probably should be hung in a county square and tarred and feathered. But on this incident, I don't have a problem with him. He's a little drunk. And he's doing some shit that he probably shouldn't do. Big freaking deal. The cops are doing the shit. You know what? When a citizen does something they shouldn't do and government does something they shouldn't do, guess who I'm more offended by? I'm more offended by the government that's being controlled, paid, and seizing my tax dollars to support them doing something wrong than I am about somebody who makes their own living doing something wrong. Okay, call me crazy, but that's just the way I see it. Appreciate that. I understand that. All right? I really don't. If, that, if I would do that to your wife and you're outside, you'd do the same thing. I agree. But not this pissy cop. The cop with the pink panties is like, no. If the cops attack my wife, I wouldn't do anything. Listen to this fucking idiot. Sure, if you were a police officer okay. and she was screaming no, in my, my face. No, my daughter's a police officer. And I know what you guys are going through right now. Again, when you try to have a reasonable conversation with somebody who's on the influence unreasonable, it doesn't work. All you're doing is talking in circles. You're going to escalate. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to lose your fucking temper because you're tired of dealing with him. Let him freaking say what he needs to say. Say what you need to say and leave. You don't need to start chasing people down and women in their driveway and arresting them. That's bullshit. Rick, they weren't arresting. They were just detaining. Yeah, okay, whatever. You put handcuffs on somebody, you may call it a detention, and I've called it a detention, and by law we can't detain. But you know what? When you put your hands on somebody and take away their freedom, to me, your freedom to leave is gone. You're arrested. Now, you can play the legal lawyer bullshit about, well, it was just a detention. It's not an arrest. I can, I can fucking detain you. I can take you to the station. I can book you in jail, make you go through the booking process, a strip search, freaking booking process and then go in and go you know what you were just detained sign this form see you later and if you idiots are okay with that well then you're fucking stupid and maybe it can happen to you i think it's bullshit that we can detain somebody and restrict their movement relocate them put them in jail and then simply call it attention and can't be charged with false arrest can't be held any way accountable for falsely arresting and taking away somebody's freedom to me that's unreasonable government power and abuse me. My daughter's police officer, my son in police officer, my bullet, my, okay. my, and if my son's was screaming a, a, at your daughter and approaching her like that, she would have done the same thing. No, you grant. So now you want to get an argument with a drunk guy about what his daughter would do in a situation where his daughter isn't here and isn't involved. That's your bright idea as a smart, intelligent cop to settle this situation. Really? What a fucking idiot. I had my wife from over there and dragged her over here, which was not necessary. Wait a minute. Something's familiar about this office. This is where he talks about the angry ball. Just, oh, I have leaving, a camera, so that it's, it's all documented. I don't care about your camera. Just to give you a little constructive criticism, dude. Okay. Okay? Let me give you some good constructive criticism. You want to drop another copper's name? You want to scream about, you know... So this guy has just been itching. Although he looks calm and his camera here, see how he's trying to play like... I'm in control, and I'm watching, and I'm observing, and, and nothing bothers me because I'm a true professional, and I'm just standing here. He has been doing nothing but waiting for his opportunity to exert his baldness. So that, I'll give it's, it's it's all I don't care about your camera. Just give it a little constructive criticism, dude. Okay. Okay. Let me give you some good constructive criticism. You want to drop another copper's name? You want to scream about you know Ramon, you're the mayor? I feel like Rich could knife hand me through the computer screen if he wanted to at this point, so I'm just gonna let him have it from from here. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Sorry, you listen, quiet. Shut the fuck up. Okay. I guess this is the point where everybody thinks I'm gonna change my mind that this cop was justified because this guy dropped a bunch of names and talked a lot. So, therefore, somebody who's being paid to be here and handle a situation and de-escalate a situation, somehow this is okay because he's a drill sergeant and he's got a YouTube channel. Are you fucking kidding me? You want to be difficult? You want to, you want to say you want? And he's not finished. After he gets some handcuffs, he's still going to berate him. See, there's one thing that usually older, wiser cops know with gray hair, not with no, no hair, usually with gray hair. 
I always say when a gray hair cop showed up, if you got to deal with cops, deal with the one with gray hair. They've been around. They got some life experience. They've been there, done that, and they don't have to prove their ball toughness like this guy. So if this would have been a gray haired worst guy, I'd be like, look, dude, I don't want to fucking argue with you. I get it. You got a lot of names. I get you know a lot of people. Dude, we got to handle this. You guys are arguing. We're here to do a job. Let's get out of here. See, it's hard to negotiate with somebody after you tackle their fucking wife and throw them in handcuffs and pretty much beat them up in their own fucking front yard. It's hard to get a dialogue. That's that's called inexperienced, dumbass cops. And this cop arresting him is going to seem like in a minute he's going to lower his voice and he's going to be talking all calm like he's in control. This cop ain't in control. He lost control when he jumped on this guy and let his baldness take over. And now he's going to act like he's in control. Because he's got the guy in cuffs, because he has all the power, because the guy can't fight back. That's not toughness to me. That's bully pussiness to me. Coppers, I know all these things. Oh, I don't want to make this look dirty. Is that what you want to do? So how am I helping you now? How, tell me. Tell me how can I help you? Who thinks this cop isn't trying to antagonize, escalate, and, and make this guy, provoke this guy into an argument? If you went up and did that to anybody, I would have the other cop saying, well, I... I I showed up and the guy was being disorderly and combative and he was in a suspect's face trying to provoke a fight, so I arrested him. That's what a cop would say if this guy wasn't a cop doing this, but suddenly because he's a cop, it's okay. Are you kidding me, people? I can't believe the number of people that told me I would change my mind if I watched this video. My How? Shut, shut up and let me oh, talk to you, Jesus old geezer. Shut, shut up and let me talk to you, old geezer. So now I'm going to call you names. I'm going to berate you. I'm going to take away your dignity by tackling and arresting your wife. Now I'm going to put you in handcuffs and I'm going to call you an old geezer and I'm going to get in your face. Why? Because I'm a drill sergeant and uh, I I'm just a, a good, I'm a good law enforcement officer and, th and that's what we do. We just berate people and take away their dignity. Are you freaking kidding me? How can anybody be okay with this? Shut up! Shut up! Let me talk to you! Since you had so much to say, and you touch a cop! So let me talk to you! Okay. God! Let me talk to you! God! Quiet! Quiet! No! You're not done talking yet! And I'm not done talking to you! So let's be quiet, Dad! So son can get some work! Yeah, okay. You're right, I'm pretty much watching this whole video. I mean, look. This didn't change my damn mind a, a bit. This cop is wrong. He was out of control. He lost his fucking temper. He's a bully and a pussy. And he, I don't give a fuck if he is a drill sergeant or if he has. And I went to his YouTube channel. He's got 800,000 subscribers. I went to his freaking page to where he buys shit. He, he's pretty successful on YouTube. I don't care. His conduct here is appalling to me because he's doing it with a gun, a badge, and government authority, and he's picking on somebody and getting in their face being a tough guy after he puts them in cuffs, they can't fight back, and he's already humiliated him by tackling his wife. To me, all that spells pussiness, and I don't care what any of you say, and I don't care if you want to go cry to him, that Rick's being mean to you, and, and he called you names, and if he wants to do a video and call him, whatever, I don't give a shit. Your conduct has a cop is appalling to me. I find it disgusting. I think you're a pussy for what you did, and your behavior here is bullshit. And that's just the way I, I see it. Sorry. You're saying everybody's fucking name and dropping everybody's name with a badge. And you're expecting Notice he's got his hand on him. How many of you people want your want somebody to put their hands on you when they're talking down to you, calling you an old geezer and getting your face? How many people want you to put your hand on you after you put them in handcuffs and take away their bill. How many people do you want putting your hands on you after you arrest and beat and tackle this cop in his front yard? How many people are okay with this? I, I just, I'm just totally shocked by the amount of people that think this cop is good and his behavior is acceptable and reasonable. And this is the standard for what cops on how they should treat pesky citizens. Are you kidding me? This cop with his hands in his pocket going down. I don't know if he's saying this cop's out of control or if he's saying I'm glad you're doing it and I can just watch. But this is another government guy sitting here not saying anything about this cop's conduct. Special treatment. How does that look like to everybody That's in this good. environment right That's now? It doesn't look good. I know. And you're grab right. him. Look, he's he's whispering, Rick. He's trying to calm him down. He's talking to him reasonably now, Rick. No. 
He's talking to him recently now after he's exerted his government authority, handcuffed him, threatened to take him to jail, and got in his face and antagonized him. Now he's talking. You can't go nice after you went to dickhead. It just doesn't work. You can always go to dickhead when you try to be nice, but you can't go back to nice once you move to I'm a dickhead. All right? Look, this video didn't change shit. I'm at 45 minutes. I watched the whole video on, on Donut. Everyone that came here in my comments and told me I would change my mind, go ahead, unsubscribe, call me an asshole, tell me I just hate all cops, tell me a bald guy slept with my wife. Whatever you want to justify, ain't nothing changing my mind about this cop's conduct and this contact. I stand by what I said before. All right, we'll end that there.